hello so in this video we are going to discuss about rotation of objects now rotation of objects is a bit different from scaling and moving the objects because we have to clearly identify the axis which passes through the object and accordingly the rotation occurs in movement like if you wanted to move this object forwards you could simply take the y axis left and right you could take the x axis and up and down is z axis but when it comes to rotation the object basically rotates around the axis that is passing through let me try to explain you with this simple thing that i have right now here this i have a matchbox fine so here this matchbox which is there i am uh, passing it through or i have passed a needle through it over here so now if you consider this side as the face of the monkey you can consider this as x axis now if you rotate this on x axis what happens is you get this kind of movement fine so you have to understand that when we will select the monkey and say rotate it on x we are going to get rotate on x we are going to get this movement like turning of the head similarly now if i took this axis and passed it through this side just like the z axis that is there fine let me just get it through okay let us just assume that i have passed it through the z axis fine it's not very good but anyways now if you see the only way it can be rotated is like this so when your object passes through z axis you can rotate it like this in our case right now so if i say r z you will notice the object is rotating in z axis and finally if you pass it through the last axis which is like x over here fine you can see the needle is passing from inside the face it can get this kind of rotation so this is basically what you need to identify while trying to rotate your object so if i rotate it on y you get this kind of rotation okay now rotation you can say rotate on x by some degrees like 45 degrees or minus 45 to get other direction so rotation value is given positive or negative degrees that is how you can rotate the objects that's the simplest thing now there is a tool for rotation which is this you can select the tool and select one of these colors which represents the axis and use that for rotation right and finally if you just go ahead with some arbitrary rotation without anything you could rotate the object in any ways you want interestingly here if you press r twice you get a trackball rotation that's useful if you have a trackball or a normal rotation like this fine so you can you try out that and see which is suitable for you so that is about rotation and this movement is called revolving or orbiting around so don't get confused with this here the object is not rotating in rotation let's say z the object's orientation is changing so that is about rotation now there is another interesting aspect of local axis and global axis which i'm going to discuss in the next video